Hello there YouTube, it's Jason, also known as Black Bean Boy, and today I am back with another video. So today is Monday, March 21st, 2022. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a good day. The premise of today's vlog is that yesterday I said that today was going to be a Music Monday video. So happy Music Monday. The premise of today's vlog is that um, not, not the past weekend, but the weekend before, I went to the record store and I bought two amazing records. Um, they were kind of pricey. They were kind of expensive, but they're very hard to find, um, especially like an older copy. Um, so the two that I got, I'm not 100% sure if they're original, original pressings. I haven't looked them up, um, you know, but they are definitely old pressings because they don't have barcodes. And if an album, if a record doesn't have barcodes, that means it was basically made before like the 1980s, I believe. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys these two really cool albums. They're by the band named Queen. Um, and yeah, you know, I could, I could easily find these albums on new vinyl, but I like to get older copies. Um, I feel like they just sound better. Um, don't get me wrong. When they do remasters on CDs, they sound beautiful. Um, and even vinyl, but I've been wanting to find some older copies of these for a while. Um, and I, I got very lucky, um. And that's why they were so expensive, because no one really turns in these albums, because everybody likes these albums. But I'll show you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, guys, so here are the two albums. Um, they're both by the band Queen. Um, this one is Queen, A Night at the Opera, and this is Queen Jazz. Now, like I was saying, you could probably walk into your record store and find brand new copies of these two albums. Um, every record store probably has Queen. You know, they're a very well-known band, well-liked. Um, and they've sold a lot of records, but these two right here, they were pretty expensive. This one was $40 and this one was 25. Um, sorry, I just hit my foot into the, into my little, uh, CD shelf, but you know, this is like Queens, one of their most popular albums, one of their best selling albums under the opera because it features Bohemian Rhapsody, which is like their, their, that's like their most known song. Um, and I actually saw this brand new at my record store and they were trying to sell this for $51 brand new. It was like a special edition, which was really cool. This one was 40. Check it out. When you open it up, it has the lyrics inside, like any cool gatefold. Um, and it has pictures of the band. Um, and then this is Queen Jazz. Cool, cool gatefold again. Um, and this one has some well-known songs. It has a uh, bicycle race. Don't Stop Me Now. Um, just This is a great Queen album, too. And the little the little thing that says jazz, it's like a... When you touch it, you can, it, it's like popping out from the... I'm trying to think of how to explain that. It's like popping out. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like... Uh, it's kind of like an optical illusion if you look at it that way. See, look, you can see it's like kind of... It's raised, so, you, you know, it's not completely flat. Um, but these two albums... I've never seen them used at my record store or at any record store. Um, usually if they are, they're very expensive, but um, like I said, these two were pretty expensive, especially this one right here. But as you can see the back, no barcode. Um, I can look it up to be certain what exact pressing it is, um, but I believe it's an older copy because um, there's no barcode. So it means it's probably like pre 1980s um, for, for at least pre before they started putting barcodes on records. And this one doesn't have a barcode on it either. So these are both copies from at least the seventies or the early eighties. I'm, I'm certain, um, they sound beautiful and I had to pick them up. They're just awesome to have. And I mean, they're pretty much in mint condition for being old. There's a little bit of damage on the spine there. And this one is in mint condition other than since it's a white album cover, it's it's showing up more like um, tan on the video because I got flash on, but only up in this corner is it a little a little bit not white. I would say it's a little off white up there, but the rest of it is completely white. Um, it, and the actual records themselves are spotless. It look, they look like they've never been played. Um, but yeah, these are the two albums I got: Queen and Night at the Opera, Queen Jazz. Let me know if you like any of these albums, and let me know. Uh, if you have a favorite out of these albums but they're both great albums and uh 
I'm happy to add them to my collection. And, you know, maybe I might go back and, uh, I might go back sometime and get the special edition of this one, you know, new vinyl. You can never have enough copies of a, an album that you love, in my opinion. Um, I like to collect, like, you know, original pressings or early pressings. This is probably an early pressing. Um, and I also like to, you know, get remastered ones or special edition or master tape ones. But, yeah, these two albums right here, are, they're freaking awesome. So glad. I've been looking for this one for a while. Actually, both of these. Um, these are the two most... These are the two Queen albums I've been wanting to get. I do have Queen's Greatest Hits, um, but that's the only Queen I have on vinyl until until these two arrived. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I explained everything good enough. Um, you know, if you don't take away anything from this video about, like, the different um, pressings or how old these albums are, the only thing to actually take away is that Queen is a beautiful wonderful band and these are two amazing albums by them and you can't go wrong listening to a night at the opera or you can't go wrong to listen to jazz by queen they're both great albums and i i highly recommend you check out both of them um either on cd on vinyl digital you know whatever they're they're solid they're great albums and um you know they're great musicians great freddie freddie mercury is a great vocalist great composer and it's just great music. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Today was Monday, March 21st, 2022. I hope you're having a great day. Happy Music Monday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.